Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at area of a circle. We're going to show the area of a circle and practice calculating the area of circle given um, radius or diameter. So let's talk first um, about our vocabulary. This is the diameter of the circle. This is the radius of our circle. Hi, circle. And what we're going to be calculating today is the area. So the yellow shaded in part on the inside of the circle. That's what we're going to be calculating, area given either the diameter or the radius. So let's look at the equation. The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, often written as this, pi r squared. So what is pi? It's a number that's about 3.14, which means for our purposes, we're not going to use pi r squared, but instead we'll use 3.14 in place of pi times our radius squared. To simplify things even further, we are going to actually use pi, 3.14, times the radius times the radius. Radius squared means radius times radius. So if we write down this third equation, we'll be able to save ourselves um, any complicated math, really, um, and simplify things down. All right, let's do this. If we're asked to find the area when the radius is 3.9 centimeters, our equation would look like this. The area is equal to the radius times the radius times pi, right? Or 3.14 times 3.9 times 3.9. That's our radius times our radius. We can just enter that in and calculate it, and we'll, we'll get our area of approximately 47.7594 square centimeters. That's it. If you're given the radius, that's what you have to do. Pretty straightforward. Time for you to practice. Here's your practice question. I want you to find the area of a circle when the radius is 2 centimeters. There's the equation. The area is approximately equal to 3.14 times radius times radius. Or in other words, times 2 times 2. So 3.14 times 2 times 2 should give you 12.56 square centimeters. So essentially, if you're given the, the radius, all you need to do is plug it into this equation and you're ready to solve. Good to go. The other type of question is when you're given the diameter. So if we're calculating the area of a circle when the diameter is 5 inches, let's bring back our picture of a circle and try and figure this out. The diameter is the distance across the circle through the center. A radius is the distance from the center to the outside of the circle. So the radius is half of the diameter. If we remember that, we can actually take the diameter and divide it by 2. So if we have a diameter of 5, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So our radius is 2.5 inches. When we write down our equation, area equals approximately equal to 3.14 times radius times radius, it should be obvious that we do not put in the diameter. Okay, It's r times r, or r squared, the radius squared. So if we're given the diameter, you have to change it to being a radius. You have to take the diameter divided by 2 to get your radius. It's really important. A lot of people will misstep on this. If they're given the diameter, they just plug it into the equation and get it wrong. All right. So then we would multiply uh, 3.14 times the radius times the radius, and that'll give us our approximate area of this circle, 19.625 square inches. All right. Um, now it's time for you to practice. I want you to find the area when the diameter is 12 meters. Pause the recording and try and figure that one out. You're back. Um, the area of a circle is that yellow area. And again, I put this pointer on the side. If our diameter is 12, the radius is half of 12. So our radius is 6. That means we can plug the number 6 into our equation and solve. And that is it for the area of a circle. It's a pretty short lesson, but I've shown you how to calculate area of a circle when you're given the radius 
or when you're given the diameter. It's really important to know how to do that with both of those. And be careful to read the question carefully and make sure you're putting the radius into the equation, not the diameter. You done learnt the area of a circle and you practiced calculating that area. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a great day.